So let's actually import some of our assets into Unreal and see what they look like. Um, I'm going to be starting from a 2D side scroller template. Uh, I'm not going to bother using start content or any stuff like that. I'm just going to call it um, food fight and hit create. So here we are in the um, side scroll template and we can see, sorry, we've got a nice person and everything going on. Um, so let's look at how we can input some of our assets. First thing I'm going to do is create a new folder and call it hot dog guy. And in hot dog guy, I'm going to create a div new folder for like run. Um, let's create another new folder, jump, and you know, basically just creating folders for all of our sprites. Um, attack, idle, and dine. Basically, as many as you've got. Just because they can get a bit messy when you start importing lots of sprites. So let's start with the run. And during the export video, I showed two ways to export. So we'll look at both of them real quick. So first is I've gone to my folder where all my run sprites are and I'm just going to grab them and open them. And then I'm going to right click with the more all highlights and say create sprites. And then again with those sprites created, I'm going to create a flipbook. And I'm going to just call it, um, in fact we should have renamed it to run, but I'll be fine for now. And if I double click that, we can see our run working and we made it in 24 frames per second. There we go, looks all right. Probably actually, you know, might have been nicer sped up. Um, but I, we made it 24. I, I'm not gonna bother tweaking and changing it for this video. But there we go, we've got a run, which let me just quickly rename. Run FB for flipbook. And I'm actually, I actually, let's um, do our, what should we do? Should we do our attack? So let's import. And I also showed you how to export as sprite sheets. So we've got this throw sprite sheet. And as you can see, we can open this up. It's got all of our sprites in there. Using a sprite sheet though, we can just go sprite actions and extract sprites. Right, so number in cell x is six number in y is that oh man i'm actually gonna have to work this out what's the width of this image 1560 alexa what's 1560 divided by six 1560 divided by 6 is 260. Cool, thank you. Which phone um, number? What? Contact Alexa. Want to call? What's 2080 divided by 8? I heard you ask for what's 2080 oh. divided by 8, but I can't find that name in your contacts. Alexa. Do you have their phone? Stop. Alexa. What's 2080 divided by 8? 2080 divided by 8 is 260. Alright. Cool. Um, let's create those. Bring those in and create a flipbook out of those. Called throw. And let's go FB. And you can now see we've got this throw and it's got much better spacing. So there we go fix the issue with the grid and let's quickly manipulate this player so we're just going to open a third person player and we've actually got an idol which is bad so we'll just use running i guess for now and in the part where they handle the animations um we should probably we'll make an idol real quick we'll just cheat to make one. Let's also do our attack. So let's do spacebar. So when spacebar is pressed, we want to basically play animation, um, a throw. However, we're going to need to do a, a check. So I'm just going to create a 
variable so you can throw. And basically, if you can throw, is true, we'll set that to play that. Um, books were handling the, well, they're handling the update, the animations on update. We basically need to say, again, let's do uh, another thing. Uh, let's just call it pause update. Is we'll call it is attacking actually. So if is attacking equals true, do nothing. However, it's false. You can continue doing that. So um, let's just say is. Let's set this. And let's also um, get flip book length. Flip book length. Get flip book length. I should get this ones, which we'll do on the delay. And then we will set this back to false. Don't forget to tick it. And there we go. Let's see if this works. So we can now see he's running around. He's running, running, running. Oops. <laughs> We've used spacebar. <laughs> And uh, we need something the idle. Um, okay, let's not use spacebar because spacebar is jump. Let's just do enter. So you probably want to set up proper inputs for this, and I probably will do at some point. Let's change this to run because we've not imported our idle yet. Ugh, there we go. We probably want to also stop stop us from being able to move while we're throwing. But there we go. That's the gist. Um, I'm going to go ahead and import some more of my animations now and get this set up a bit better. See you in the next video.